What's up, guys? My name is Jake. Welcome to Cancelled, Episode 4. This is the show where we look into everything and anything that was eventually cancelled. The Tonight Show is the longest-running nighttime show in television history, and considered to be one of the most prestigious. In the show's 63 years of existence, a total of six different men have permanently hosted the show, starting with Steve Allen in 1954, then Jack Parr, Johnny Carson, Jay Leno, and Jimmy Fallon. In 2009, NBC had decided to bring Conan O'Brien in as the new host following Jay Leno's departure. After only 146 episodes, The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien had been cancelled in favor of bringing back Jay Leno. It was one of the most public and embarrassing cancellations in television history. It all started back in 2004, when NBC and Jay Leno announced that in five years, Conan would become the new host of The Tonight Show after Jay Leno leaves in 2009. This decision was made after Conan negotiated the show into his contract with NBC after he received a pretty good offer from Fox. This made sense as Conan had a long career with NBC. He started as a writer for Saturday Night Live in 1988, with very little on-screen appearances. He then switched over to Fox to write for The Simpsons, producing some of the best episodes in the series' history. In 1993, he was offered to come back to NBC to host his very own late-night talk show following David Letterman's departure, which was virtually unprecedented in the industry, and still is. He signed on to do Late Night with Conan O'Brien, which lasted 16 years. After the controversy of Jay Leno getting the hosting job in favor of David Letterman, he stated that in his 2009 departure, he didn't want the same controversy to happen again. So as promised, in 2009, Jay Leno had officially wrapped up his 17 years as host of The Tonight Show, and Conan O'Brien with Andy Richter had taken the spot. Conan's first show as host took place on June 1st, 2009 at the 11.30 time slot. With the anticipation of the debut of Conan's hosting, the premiere episode was a huge hit for NBC, bringing in fantastic numbers for the network at around 9.2 million viewers. However, those numbers and overall ratings began to fall within the first week of the show. By June 9th, The Late Show with David Letterman had surpassed The Tonight Show in ratings for the first time in over eight months. Though The Tonight Show did kinda rebound in its second week. A big problem that faced the show was the age of the viewers. Jay Leno appealed to an older audience, where Conan didn't demographically see the same reach. The show, however, was reaching a more unique audience of 18-35 to 35 year olds. This demographic is generally more difficult to acquire, and in return much more valuable. Alan Wurzel, the president of research at NBC, said that, quote, Conan's performance is honestly extraordinary. These kind of transitions are hard, especially with an iconic program like The Tonight Show. Letterman's spike in growth was mostly caused by the demographic of The Tonight Show, 50+, plus, switching the channel. Overall, though, Conan's numbers weren't doing all that great. Meanwhile, Jay Leno had decided to return to NBC with his own show. Yeah, so back in 2007, Leno began having second thoughts on leaving The Tonight Show, as he was reportedly flooded with offers from other networks for when his contract ends, NBC wanted to keep him. Jay Leno ultimately accepted his own nighttime talk show called The Jay Leno Show. It premiered in the 10 o'clock p.m. time slot on September 14, 2009, and was immediately panned by critics. However, because of Leno's hosting and the 10 p.m. time slot, the numbers weren't all that bad. By November, Conan's ratings were averaging around 2 million viewers a day, which compared to Leno's hosting of The Tonight Show was down quite a bit. So, NBC decided they wanted to switch some things up in an effort to improve both shows' ratings. In their plan, Jay Leno's show was shortened down to 30 minutes and moved up to the 11.35pm time slot, as The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien would be moved up to 12.05am. This announcement was immediately pushed back by Conan, saying that if The Tonight Show moved to that time slot, it would simply not be The Tonight Show anymore. Conan was reportedly given two options, either take the time slot or leave the company. In a press release, Conan states that, quote, I believe that delaying The Tonight Show into the next day to accommodate another comedy program will seriously damage what I consider to be the greatest franchise in the history of broadcasting. The Tonight Show at 12.05 simply isn't The Tonight Show. 
Also, if I accept the move, I will be knocking the Late Night Show, which I inherited from David Letterman and passed to Jimmy Fallon, out of its long-held time slot. That would hurt the other NBC franchise that I love, and it would be unfair to Jimmy. After two weeks of negotiations and an overwhelming public support in favor of Conan remaining as host, NBC continued to hold their ground. Eventually, on January 21st, 2010, Conan O'Brien had signed a $45 million settlement deal, which would involve him giving up The Tonight Show and leaving NBC. $12 million of that would go to Conan's staff. The settlement contract stated that he would have to stay off television until September 1st, 2010. NBC also confirmed that Jay Leno would return as host of The Tonight Show. Conan's last show as host came a day later on January 22nd, 2010, with Tom Hanks as the last interview, and it really was a genuine farewell episode. Between my time at Saturday Night Live, The Late Night Show, and my brief run here on The Tonight Show, I've worked with NBC for over 20 years. Yes, we have our differences right now. Yes, we're going our separate ways. But this company has been my home for most of my adult life. I am enormously proud of the work we've done together, and I want to thank NBC for making it all possible. Every comedian, every comedian dreams of hosting The Tonight Show. And for seven months, I got to do it. And I did it my way, with people I love. I do not regret one second. So to all the people watching, I can never, ever thank you enough for the kindness to me. I'll think about it for the rest of my life. And all I ask is one thing, and this is, I'm asking this particularly of young people that watch, please do not be cynical. I hate cynicism. For the record, it's my least favorite quality. It doesn't lead anywhere. Nobody in life gets exactly what they thought they were going to get. But if you work really hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. NBC immediately began removing episodes of the show off their website, affiliate sites, and YouTube as what many claim to be the network acting like it never happened. March 1st was the first Tonight Show with former host Jay Leno. By July, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno had posted its lowest ratings since 1992, even worse than when Conan was hosting. Speaking of Conan, in April of 2010, himself, Andy Richter, and his team announced they would be going on tour in cities across the United States and Canada. A fantastic documentary called Conan O'Brien Can't Stop was filmed while this was taking place, and I highly suggest you go watch it. It wasn't long until a major network picked up Conan as a host, when TBS announced that Conan O'Brien would sign on to host the newly created talk show called Conan. The first episode premiered on November 8th, 2010, as Conan O'Brien's first hosting job since his departure of The Tonight Show. Over at NBC, Jay Leno continued to host the show with a substantial loss from his peak audience back in 2003. In 2012, the Los Angeles Times reported that the show was experiencing layoffs and becoming less and less profitable for the network. By 2014, Jay Leno handed The Tonight Show to longtime lead-in Jimmy Fallon, who has been hosting the show ever since. Conan has now produced over a thousand episodes for TBS, and with a strong lead-in, he has seen some pretty strong numbers for the network. While not The Tonight Show ratings, the show is clearly profitable for TBS as they had renewed the show into 2022. Recently, NBC has been at least acknowledging that Conan was at one point the host of The Tonight Show, as the network has been a lot more lenient on media on the subject. Conan has also publicly stated that a lot of the executives at NBC who were involved or responsible for the 2010 fiasco are now gone. In the lobby of the newly opened Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon attraction in Universal Orlando sits a showcase room of all the past Tonight Show hosts. While hilariously and painfully small, Conan's short-lived run as host was featured in the attraction. Conan O'Brien hosted The Tonight Show for only seven months. At the end of the day, NBC didn't want to lose Leno or Conan. Having an earlier talk show lead into another one with a demographically different host in a way sabotaged Conan's ratings. The decision to move the entire time slot into the next day would have severely altered the show and crippled the ratings even more. 
While Conan fought to keep the show he had been working towards his entire career, Leno sat back and let the whole ordeal pan out, gladly taking The Tonight Show when Conan was pushed out. And that's a huge reason why people lost respect for Jay Leno. He seemed to have no morals or integrity with the situation. He had already hosted The Tonight Show for 17 years, and as many claimed, he had no reason to return. In the 2004 announcement he made explaining that Conan would be taking over, he said this. So they said, listen, we would like to do five more years. I said, great! I'd love to do five more years. And they came to me and they said, we don't want to lose Conan O'Brien. We think Conan would be a good replacement, as I do. Conan is a gentleman, funny, the hottest late night guy out there, excellent. And I said, you know something? I don't want to see Conan go anywhere else. I'm 59, I'll be 59 years old when this leaves five years from now. That's 1,200 shows, they're not going anywhere tomorrow. <laughs> and then in 09, I'll say, Conan, it's, take it over, it's yours. Because you know, you, you can do these things until they carry out on a stretcher, or you can get out when you're still, you know, you're still doing good and think, I'm not quitting show business. You know, when I took this show over, boy, there was a lot of animosity between me and Dave and who's going to get it. And, and quite frankly, a, a lot of what I thought, well, good friendships were permanently damaged. And I don't want to see anybody ever have to go through that again. Because this, you know, this show is like a dynasty. You, you hold it and then you hand it off to the next person. And I don't want to see all the fighting and all and who's better and nasty things back and forth in the press. So right now, here it is. Conan, it's yours. See you in five years, buddy. Okay. Heavily and hilariously contradicting literally everything that happened. Conan's hosting was criticized by some though, saying that he seemed much more censored on The Tonight Show than he did on his previous one. Many though now say that his current show on TBS is some of his best work, including myself. The Tonight Show is still considered to be one of the most prestigious nighttime shows on air. While personally I'm not a huge fan of Jimmy Fallon, I can say that he has accelerated the popularity and brought the show to new heights. While Johnny Carson remains my favorite host of the show, I still think that Conan did an incredible job as host. The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien turned out to be one of the most embarrassing and public cancellations in television history. Anyway guys, my name is Jake, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and thank you very much for watching.